Guys, we're back again with another video of the series K-pop discussion covering the hottest and latest controversies sparked in the K-pop world. Ready to find out what has screwed up all social platforms lately? Follow us till the end of this video to discover all of them. So, this video will kick off with the first news related to IU being accused of plagiarism for six hit songs. Particularly on May 10, media outlet May Il Kyung Jae reported that an anonymous individual referred to as A had filed a complaint against IU to the Gangnam police station on charges of violating copyright law. A stated that IU had allegedly plagiarized music from both domestic and foreign artists to produce some of her iconic works, namely The Red Shoes, Good Day, BB, Pitiful, Celebrity, and Boo. The accuser claims that all these six songs share a striking resemblance to the original songs in terms of melody, rhythm, and chord progression. Even in the case of Good Day and The Red Shoes, the resemblances are so significant that they can be discerned even by an ordinary person. Regarding the reason for the complaint, A said it was important to speak up because IU had never given any explanation, and even requested to delete the denunciation post despite being questioned about plagiarism many times. Therefore, the accuser has decided to file a report after witnessing a lack of public awareness regarding the numerous instances of plagiarism that have been arbitrarily removed from social networking sites due to copyright concerns, as well as the failure of legal authorities to fulfill their duties in determining the number of damages that those faced with copyright violation accusations must pay. In response to the allegations, IU's agency Edam Entertainment released a statement saying that there is no such thing as IU plagiarizing, and the accuser probably wanted to smear the female singer because this person couldn't give any evidence of the songwriters accusing IU or complaining about her stealing their music, but only targeted IU personally. However, many netizens expressed their agreement with the accuser, saying that IU is indeed a whitewashing queen because despite her being accused so many times, all they see about her on social networks is always her angelic vocals, sweet appearance, and romantic love with Lee Jong Suk. They believe this proves that IU has strong backing from Kakao as all the posts denouncing her disappear in a flash. A netizen even suspected that as IU and Park Seo Joon's new drama Dream is a flop, her company has to resort to dirty media tricks. The script would be an anonymous person accusing IU of plagiarism, then the female singer and the company would object to that and announce to take legal action against the accuser. Then the accuser would make an apology to IU and that's it. Meanwhile, IU's fans defend that because IU is currently preparing for her upcoming solo concert to be held at the end of November and her Japanese promotions to be carried out at the end of the year. Anti fans are trying their best to damage her reputation by fabricating accusations about her. On this matter, though I'm just a person who doesn't know the truth, I partly agree with Edam's approach as if there are accusations of plagiarism. Those who file a complaint should bring specific and clear evidence rather than anonymous claims. Moreover, the songwriters of the allegedly original songs even have not spoken up about this issue yet. Therefore, this accusation is not convincing. Let's move to the next controversy of today's video. On May 10, SM Entertainment released an official statement announcing that after careful discussion between Lucas and the agency, it was decided that he will be departing from both NCT and WayV to focus on solo activities. It should be noted that this news comes approximately a year and a half after Lucas's hiatus due to a controversy involving cheating and gaslighting. Following the official statement from SM Entertainment, Lucas took to Instagram to share his letter addressing his departure. In the letter, Lucas explained why he would be leaving NCT and WayV. He also expressed gratitude towards his fans for their support and stated that he would strive to become a more mature Huang Shuxi in the days to come, while also hinting at a possible solo career in the future. Of course, netizens have a bunch of mixed reactions to the news, while most of them express their regret when Lucas left suddenly and sent their best wishes to him. Many were ecstatic that now Lucas left NCT and WayV. They expressed their happiness as from now on, Lucas can no longer damage NCT and WayV's reputation with his series of scandals and complicated private life. 
In fact, the male idol's controversy involving cheating and gaslighting has caused significant damage to the reputation of both Wavy and NCT, resulting in Wavy's prolonged hiatus for a long time and NCT receiving criticism from netizens. Therefore, many believe he doesn't deserve to be a part of the two groups. Meanwhile, some found out that aside from NCT and Wavy, Lucas is also a part of Super M, a group consisting of members from SM's various boy groups. This led to questions and confusion as to why SM Entertainment still allows him to stay in Super M despite all the controversies surrounding him. Though I don't confirm or deny whether Lucas's scandals are real or not, I think it makes sense for him to leave both NCT and Wavy to make a solo debut. As you see, as long as he stays, he's going to be psychologically terrorized because netizens and anti-fans won't stop criticizing him and asking him to leave the groups for the sake of other members. Moreover, if Lucas debuts as a solo singer, it's easier for his fans to support him as they no longer suffer from criticism of him from other members' fans. Now we move on to another no less interesting discussion which is about Teen Top's cap whose inappropriate statements towards fans have recently received a huge wave of backlash from netizens. To be more detailed, on May 8th, the male idol held a live broadcast on his personal YouTube channel to interact with fans. After the confirmation from top media about the group's upcoming comeback after a long time disappearing from the K-pop track, his live attracted a lot of people, especially Teen Top's longtime fans. There would be nothing worth discussing if Cap didn't smoke during the live. Many fans left comments to show their discontent with his action and ask him to stop smoking. This reminder from fans seemed to drive Cap mad as he soon replied angrily. Now, there is someone telling me to stop smoking during the live broadcast. Do you know what is the most annoying thing? It is when those who normally never watch my live stream but suddenly come asking me to do things they wanted me to do. I hate this sh**. Cap continued to let go of vulgar words and said, why the hell did those people come here and spit those damn things at me? This may shock everyone, but I'm thinking of f***ing withdrawing from this comeback. Anyway, my contract will expire in July. Many netizens, after hearing these words, immediately frowned upon Cap's disrespectful behavior towards his own fans while they were just caring about his health. Some fans were also in shock as they couldn't get the reason why their idol swore right in his live broadcast. What's more, many claim that the male idol is so irresponsible towards his group as they are about to drop their comeback soon, but he threatened that he would withdraw from the promotion. If you remember, this is not the first time Cap has made such shocking statements. Back in 2012, in an interview on Mnet Wide Open Studio, when asked how he would raise his future children, Cap stated that if he had a son, he would give him everything he wanted. Whereas, if he had a daughter, he would beat her and not let her go outside. <laughs> This weird statement of his has been controversial for a long time, especially among female fans. Thus, many believe that Cap is a person with personality problems masquerading as an idol, as his words and attitude reveal the seeds of violence, and that he should leave Teen Top as soon as possible to avoid affecting the group's comeback. However, fans soon came to protect their idol, saying that Cap could have been dissatisfied and fed up with the agency's treatment or settlement, leading to him being unable to control his words. That's why he said he wants to leave this comeback. Not only that, he might be suffering from severe stress that he couldn't handle his mental status but burst out with inappropriate remarks. Fans hope that netizens would forgive him this time and give him a second chance to be in the group's lineup. Unfortunately, just a few days later, top media made an announcement saying that they decided to let Cap leave the group after discussing it with all the other members. Well, for me, I think this is totally Cap's fault. He is an idol after all, so he must know better than anyone else that any word or action of his that is deemed inappropriate will cost him his career. Not only that, his group is going to make a comeback to celebrate their 13th year of debut, yet Cap didn't care about that. 
act and let his emotions go out of control, leading to Teen Top's comeback and the other members' reputation being seriously affected. It is also undeniable the possibility that he may be under stress due to whatever is happening in his idol career. Still, shouting at fans who support him and care about him with such an attitude is unacceptable. Let's come to the last discussion of this video today, which is about Jang Won Young's being lazy at dancing again. It seems like the female idol couldn't keep herself from the smallest controversy as there are many times she was put under fire due to the most subtle problem. And this time, Won Young was accused of being lazy again when performing. To be more specific, in the video of I've performing Kitsch at Music Bank lately, many eagle-eyed netizens spotted that Won Young has many times skipped the choreography, especially the leg dance moves. While other members were seen to dance with power and broaden their legs according to the choreography, the female idol just did it perfunctorily as if she was doing exercises or had pain in her leg. Needless to say, this soon got on netizens' nerves and Won Young one more time received countless criticism. They question why she is always so stubborn when it comes to performing and choreography despite being complained loads of times. They are also skeptical of the reason why an idol with a terrible attitude and weak skills like Won Young could be so famous and gain so much affection from people. Some also mocked that netizens are wasting their time hoping she will improve her dance skills as idols now just need a beautiful visual, and Won Young obviously has the visual. Thus, there's no way she wouldn't be forgiven by her fans. On the other hand, Won Young's fans claim that some netizens are trying to lead others on. At that time, her mic had trouble so she had to stop a bit to adjust it, thus couldn't focus on on the choreography and missed some moves. This is just an accident and didn't happen on purpose. Not only that, Won Young is the only one to wear leather pants and this probably made it somewhat difficult for her to perform choreography that required spreading her legs as she still performed neatly all other moves of the song. To be frank, I must say that Won Young's dance moves are a bit weak and powerless compared to other members as she is quite thin and doesn't have a lot of muscles. And it is understandable that some netizens are irritated with that. But she is obviously making progress with her dance skills and definitely not worth being criticized that harshly due to a minor mistake. So, do you think IU is guilty like being accused? Is Lucas leaving the group related to his past scandals? Was Cap's actions really outrageous or understandable? And does Won Young really have a habit of skipping moves like netizens said? 